Kartike Sharma, political affairs editor, is with us live right now for perspectives on the story. Kartike, just really disturbing visuals of, of that attack, a violent attack on the offices of the Ahmadmi Party in Delhi. Uh, this is no way to do politics, even if you disagree vehemently with what the Ahmadmi Party believes in. It's not a case of outrage. Uh, it's uh, it's it's not a it's it's not a case of uh, uh, I would say a simple crime. Uh, this this is a this is a case where police must crack down. Uh, this was a criminal activity. Uh, they violently attacked the office of a political party, and this clearly shows a sort of insensitive politics. Uh, this particular outfit has indulged in. Uh, even in Mangalore, if you look at their, uh, this is the new avatar. Uh, even in Mangalore, they had attacked the pubs. They had taken law in their own hands. At that point of time, Bharati Janata Party's government was in power. Uh, the quick action was not taken. Uh, so I would say that uh, uh, police should should show uh, uh, some uh, immediate action. Uh, and uh, the, a stern message has to be given because ultimately, you see, uh, what's the basic point? Uh, Mr. Bhushan made a comment. He made a comment uh, on, on Jammu and Kashmir. People can have different views on the issues of internal security, but it doesn't mean that it allows any political party. Uh, uh, that was a senior police officer from uh, the police in uh, Ghaziabad uh, saying that he will now begin to provide security at least outside the offices of the Aam Aadmi Party, if not to individual Aam Aadmi Party members or at least MLAs of the Delhi government themselves. He said uh, his, uh, his uh, policemen reacted as soon as they received reports of the attack that you see on your screens over there. Members of a unit called the Hindu Raksha Dal attacking the Aam Aadmi Party office in Ghaziabad with bricks and sticks. It's just all on your, on your screens. Uh, in a few seconds, you'll see them throwing bricks at the, the facade of the building as well, to, which led to uh, several broken windows. Thankfully, no injuries I want to go to Karthike Sharma. Karthike, we interrupted you uh, as that soundbite was coming in. Please go ahead. So, Pierre, the point I was trying to make was that it's not an outrage. It's a case of sheer intolerance on, 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 on part of this uh, fringe organization. And there has to be a strict police action against them. And, and, and the reason is very simple. If you don't take uh, action against uh, outfits like these, then they can uh, acquire a life of its own. You know, sometimes uh, violence becomes a means and ends to justify larger political gains. And we have seen that in the 90s and late 80s. So the issue here is that people can have any view they want. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a democracy. Uh, and people can have views on Kashmir from AFSPA to uh, any constitutional issue, but doesn't give right to any political organization to indulge in violence like this. So I think now what, will be, what should be expected is that you people, since it comes under the domain should show prompt and quick action the the other side to this Karthik is you were saying it should not be condoned in any way uh, certainly all political parties whether they agree with uh, the views of the Hindu Raksha Dal or not should come out and say this is simply wrong this is unacceptable you see it's not even wrong I would say this is unacceptable yeah. people can have their views on various subjects people can have their views on various constitutional matters for a person to have a particular view on the issue of Kashmir does not jeopardize the internal security situation there. Those are two different elements. I think this is a matter of free speech. That's the bottom line. Exactly. It's about free speech. It's about tolerance in the system. It's about is our democratic structure strong yeah. enough to accommodate yeah. different voices? I think that's the bottom uh, line. We want to take you now to uh, Kumar Vishwas, uh, leader of the Aam Aadmi Party. He's on the phone line with headlines today. Uh, Kumar Vishwas, your first reaction to what, what has happened outside your office? This is a shame. And the question of Prashant is that the other thing is that the other thing is that the party was endorsed by the party. The party said that Arvind had also said that we 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 had also said that उसके बाद अगर कोई पॉलिटिकल पार्टी से जुड़े हुए इस तरह के लोग अगर भेजते हैं कुछ लोगों को दंगा करने के लिए पत्थर फेंकने के लिए मारपीट करने के लिए तो ऐसे लोग तो पहले भी आते रहे हैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट में प्रशांत के चैंबर में घुस के मारपीट करते रहे हैं बेसिकली ये गुंडे हैं और ये संस्कृति के और धर्म के ठेकेदार हैं मैं भी हिंदू हूँ सनातनी हूँ इनसे बड़ा हिंदू इनसे ज्यादा वेद पढ़ा इनसे ज्यादा अपनिषद पढ़ा है पर मेरे वेद उपनिषद में कहीं इस गुंडागर्दी के बारे में नहीं लिखा गया वह तो हर तरह के विचार की सहमति का सवाल उठाया गया है तो ये अभिव्यक्ति पर आघात करने वाला एक ग्रुप है जो सदा से ऐसा करता रहा है और उसे एक पॉलिटिकल पार्टी पालती रही है ऐसे ग्रुप्स को तो देश ने देख रहा है और देश ने जैसे दिल्ली में जवाब दिया ऐसे चौदह में भी जवाब देगा 
Kumarji, Kumar you said that political parties have been encouraging these groups. Which one do you believe uh, should be the one to step up and take responsibility and stop these attacks? We all know that the organizations like the Hindu, 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 अरे भैया कश्मीर पे बात करनी है तो जरा एक बार अपनी पार्टी से भी बात करिए कि श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी के जो बलिदान हुआ था उसके प्रमुख आरोपी सदा शेख अब्दुल्ला को आप बताते रहे जब आपकी सरकार आई तो आपने शेख अब्दुल्ला के बेटे के साथ सरकार बना ली फारूक अब्दुल्ला के साथ या मुझे बताइए कि वे कश्मीरी विस्थापित हिंदू भाई जो इस समय भी दिल्ली में है जब छह साल भाजपा की सरकार थी तो कितने विस्थापितों को पहुंचा कर आई थी पुनर्वास के लिए श्रीनगर जाकर या बारामूला जाकर तो ये सब इनका फेक नेशनलिज्म है ये दुरप्पा जो भारत माता के खनिज लूट लेते हैं शायद जो गंगा माता को लूट लेते हैं जो इनके अजय संचेती गडकरी जी के पार्टनर कोयला खा जाते हैं उनको नहीं पूछते हो कि राष्ट्र कहाँ है भारत माता कहाँ है तो ये फर्जी राष्ट्रवाद के नमूने हैं जो सड़क पर घूम रहे हैं और अगर इन्हें भ्रम है कि इनकी इस गुंडई से हम डर जाएंगे तो इनकी गलत फहमी डू यू फील थ्रेटेंड बिल्कुल भी नहीं इनसे इनकी क्या है ये क्या कर लेंगे हमारा इन्होंने एक दो चार बार ऐसा कर लिया प्रशांत पर हमला करा अरुंधति राय पर हमला करा आज इन्होंने यहाँ पत्थर फेंके हैं ये पत्थर फेंकते रहे लोग इन्हें जवाब देते रहेंगे दिल्ली में इनको जवाब दिया है इनके बड़े नेता अरुण जेटली जी कहते हैं एक सीट नहीं मिलेगी एक सीट मिलेगी तो मैं राजनीति छोड़ दूंगा तो चिंता ना करिए अभी दिल्ली के देश का चुनाव भी आ रहा है देश भी देख रहा है कि ऐसे लोग जो दूसरे के विचार को सुनना तक नहीं चाहते हैं मारपीट पर उतर आते हैं हत्या पर उतर आते हैं ऐसे लोग देश क्या चलाएंगे ऐसे लोग अभिव्यक्ति की स्वतंत्रता की रक्षा क्या करेंगे The police officer who who responded to this uh, attack on your office has offered you security. Would you take it? बिल्कुल नहीं हम किसी तरह की कोई सुरक्षा नहीं लेंगे देश में अगर हम हराम आदमी सुरक्षित है तभी हम सुरक्षित अनुभव करेंगे ना तो मुख्यमंत्री लेंगे ना पार्टी का कुछ सदस्य लेगा ना हम लेंगे लगातार आई बी थ्रेट परसेप्शन बताती रही है लेकिन इनको अंदाजा नहीं है हमारी ताकत का जब हम इस देश की सबसे महत्वपूर्ण महिला के जो रिश्तेदार हैं उनका भ्रष्टाचार खोलने से नहीं रुके इनकी पार्टी के अध्यक्ष पर नहीं रुके देश के सबसे बड़े सेठ जी का भ्रष्टाचार खोलने से नहीं रुके तो चार पांच गुंडों के पत्थर फेंकने से या लाठियां चला देने से या हथियार चला देने से हम कहा रुकने वाले हैं पोलिटिकल रिस्पॉन्स टू दिस इसका क्या आप बताएं इससे क्या पॉलिटिकल रिस्पॉन्स हो सकता है सड़क पर आप जा रहे हैं और आपको अगर किसी पशु विशेष ने काट लिया या किसी आ, किसी ने धक्का दे दिया तो आप उसके खिलाफ क्या कर सकते हैं तो हम, हमारे पास सब वो वीडियो फुटेज है संयोग से जो जो लोग आए हैं उनके चेहरे एक्सपोज हैं ये राज्य की सरकार देखे अखिलेश की सरकार देखे जिस समय प्रशांत भूषण पर हमला हुआ था दिल्ली में शीला दीक्षित की सरकार थी केंद्र की सरकार थी आपके चैनल पर चला सबने देखा कि टू और कोयले जैसे महत्वपूर्ण चीजों को बचाने वाले एक वरिष्ठ वकील जो देश की खनिज संपदाओं के लिए लड़ता रहा है उस पर तीन गुंडों ने जाकर हमला किया संयोग से वो गुंडे आजकल भारतीय जनता पार्टी के दफ्तर में बैठते हैं नमो फ्लाइंग करके वो कार्यक्रम चलाते हैं वो दुष्प्रचार करते हैं मेरे कवि सम्मेलन मुशायरों के वीडियो एडिट करके चलाते हैं तो भाजपा के आप गुंडा मवाली प्रकोष्ठ भी खोलने वाली है बहुत सारे प्रकोष्ठ खोलती है तो ऐसा भी खोल ले जिसमें ये गुंडे भी सम्मिलित हो जाए इनकी जमानत भी ले लिया करें शाही फेंकने वाले की जमानत भी भाजपा नहीं ली थी कुमार विश्वास मैनी थैंक्स फॉर स्पीकिंग टू हेडलाइन टूडे एंड शेयरिंग योर व्यूज विद अस Captain Gopinath uh, is uh, a prominent industrialist who has supported the Aam Aadmi Party uh, and uh, come out uh, and, and 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 voiced his support for uh, uh, for their anti-corruption campaign. He's on the phone line with us right now. Uh, so, what do you what do you, what what do you think when you see visuals like this on your screens of this attack on the Aam Aadmi Party's office? No, I, I, because I'm uh, somewhere driving. I haven't seen the visuals. Uh, right, sorry. I, I was told there's some kind of violence. What kind of violence is this? Well, the, it, what we see is members of a group called the, uh, of the, the Hindu Raksha Dal who've attacked the Aam Aadmi Party office with sticks, throwing bricks at windows, breaking those uh, windows. They say it's because of what Prashant Bhushan said about Kashmir, that uh, the people of Kashmir should decide whether the army should be involved in internal security duties. No, I think uh, any kind of violence uh, uh, from anybody, regardless of uh, what... Uh, what uh, or a political party or a social outfit or the, the religious denomination. I think any kind of violence must be condemned and also must be swiftly put down. I think uh, any society, which is a civilized society, a uh, peaceful society, cannot uh, and should not tolerate violence. It must be put down, uh, you know, quickly uh, from anybody. And, and there should be nothing, no fear, you know, favor or fear under any circumstance. I think this is absolutely condemnable. Uh, you all have a you know, right to speak, but no right to violence. You, you're a newly minted member of the Aam Aadmi Party, uh, among several industrialists who want a corruption-free India, who've joined this party in recent weeks. Uh, do you believe that the party should perhaps review its decision about security uh, for its uh, senior leaders in Delhi? No, I don't think so. I mean, these are fringe elements, uh, um, uh, and, and, and I think. Uh, 
uh, you, you always have fringe elements in uh, society uh, who are sometimes uh, uh, not sane or sometimes uh, uh, doing it for populist uh, uh, measures or uh, uh, for, uh, for the purpose of garnering attention. Uh, or they could be uh, truly, uh, you know, communal. And uh, we need to have a, you know, a society which is uh, you know, free from violence, and we need to have a society with the freedom of speech. And uh, uh, you have, a, you, have you know, like the other BJP leaders have uh, disagreed, Congress has disagreed, and even within the Amadi parties, they have said that, uh, uh, you know, if something has been said, then, or it's bitter, misrepresented, or properly said, you're a personal capacity. That is not the party's view. Party will come with a manifesto, and people have a right to, uh, you know, either disagree or also to have a right to uh, have a peaceful protest. You can't uh, uh, allow them. Then, 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 uh, how are you different from the uh, the, the, the terrorists and other places? You know, you, you you need to respect each other's views. Captain Gopinath, we appreciate your time and your thoughts on this uh, developing story. Uh, Captain Gopinath, a member of the Amadmi Party uh, and, and a prominent industrialist. Uh, Reiterating what, what many people have said, really, this, this afternoon, that uh, there's simply no place for violence when you disagree, uh, no matter what someone's political views on any subject are. Um, this visuals on your screen, if you've just joined us, are of uh, members of the Hindu Raksha Dal who attacked the Amadmi Party office in Koshambi in the national capital region. They broke several windows and threatened members of the Amadmi Party before dispersing. The police of, um, of uh, Ghaziabad have said that they will study the CCTV footage and uh, then pl try and arrest those individuals involved. You can see some of them on your screens very clearly. Their faces clearly visible as they hurl bricks at the building, resulting in extensive damage to the facade. Kumar Vishwas of the Ahmadmi Party spoke to headlines today just a few minutes ago. He said that uh, his party will not seek security despite uh, a very violent and aggressive protest outside its offices which resulted in extensive damage. He said that uh, individuals like this have threatened members of his party in the past, most, uh, most famously an attack on Prashant Bhushan uh, himself earlier where he was beaten in his offices uh, out near the Supreme Court in Delhi. Uh, this time another attack on the offices of the Ahmadmi party in Koshambi. We're going to keep getting you reactions to the story as it develops, uh, but clearly some just incredible footage that you're seeing on your screens, just unbelievable reactions there. Uh, and that to several days after the event. Ankit Tyagi, our correspondent, is on the phone line. Ankit, uh, uh, any new uh, reactions or any new details emerging in the past uh, 20 odd minutes? Yeah, what we have learned from the sources in the Amadmi Party is that uh, they are uh, providing the CCTV footage and have also lodged a complaint uh, as far as uh, this attack is concerned. But they have also refused the offer of uh, the Ghazibad police uh, to station uh, more uh, police personnel outside the office of the Amadmi Party. They have said that uh, uh, they do not want uh, any security. Arvind Kejriwal uh, and other ministers of the Delhi government are also uh, not seeking any security. Uh, remember, as I told you before, Arvind Kejriwal lives just a stone throw away from the uh, uh, office in his house. Is, uh, it's really uh, just, just a two-minute walking distance from the office which was attacked uh, in the morning. Uh, the Delhi police, uh, in fact, uh, from the sources, is that uh, they have contacted the council of Arvind They are now worried that uh, such attack can also take place uh, at uh, uh, or uh, I apologize to our viewers. Uh, there seems to be a bit of a problem reaching Ankit Tyagi at that moment. Uh, this is, of course, as you'd, you'd understand, a live and fluid situation. Uh, we're uh, getting you developments from outside the Ahmadmi Party office in Koshambi. We want to go back to reactions that came in a short while ago from members of the Ahmadmi Party to this attack. Ankit Tyagi, a correspondent, is uh, still with us on the phone line. Uh, uh, Ankit, uh, you, you, we lost the connection to you uh, as you were reporting earlier. Go ahead. Well, uh, as I was uh, saying there, uh, the party so far has refused security from uh, the UP police. In fact, what we've also looked at, Delhi police has also contacted uh, their counterparts in Uttar Pradesh and they have asked them uh, to, uh, to brief up the security as far as the CM residence is concerned, which is just a stone throw away from... Uh, uh, right now, I'm standing outside the office and uh, we can see a lot of movement.
still seem to be having connection problems there with uh, Ankit uh, in uh, Ghaziabad. We apologize for that to our viewers. Uh, but uh, as uh, I'm being told by our producer that we now have a soundbite from Prashant Bhushan. Uh, it, in that interview that he gave to headlines today's editor at large, Rahul Kawal, here's what he said, which allegedly prompted this violent reaction from the Hindu Rakshadal.